idea. First tonight, kiss and tell hell. There's brand new backlash tonight over Riel Hunter's tell-all tour, promoting the book that she wrote all about the affair she had with John Edwards that cost him his marriage and his presidential bid. Now, this controversy is no longer just about airing their dirty laundry. Oh, no. Forget the cheating or the lying about the love child or even how she insulted Edwards' deceased wife. Now, Riel Hunter has managed to tick off a TV icon, and the fallout is just getting started. I mean, it's kind of a, a crappy thing to do. For Riel Hunter, it's a crappy way to win sympathy. The woman who came on to then-presidential candidate John Edwards helped break up his 30-year marriage to a dying woman and had his love child is having a rough time as she promotes her new tell-all book about the affair. The hosts of The View let her have it. You had unprotected sex with a married man and had a baby. And today, various media outlets are lighting up with a fresh round of Riel bashing. Comedy writer Julie Klausner sarcastically tweeted, quote, One of the best things about Riel Hunter is she knows exactly when to time her career moves so she never seems trashy or inappropriate. And noting that Riel mostly sailed through previous interviews with ABC's Chris Cuomo and George Stephanopoulos before running into the buzzsaw that was The View. You put an entire nation in a very awkward position. The Washington Post's Lisa DeMoreas quipped, ABC should never send men to do women's work. I don't think that there's an iota of sympathy that Riel has managed to cultivate or dig up on her book tour. Now, Riel's romance with Edwards is over, and she remains America's most hated mistress. I'm not a mistress. I'm a mom. A correction. She remains America's most hated mom slash mistress. It's clear, Riel's book tour is a textbook example of how not to win over a skeptical public. Showbiz Tonight has the latest on Riel Hunter's Kiss and Tell Hell. What's earning Riel the most scorn? The nasty way she writes about John's late wife, Elizabeth Edwards, who is dying of cancer.